The power of storytelling is how we use stories to make a difference in this world. And I've learned it two different ways. The first is I've been at Intel for about a dozen years. And what I learned, every time you want to present a new idea to a corporation, to your CEO, first you have to get used to being thrown out of the boardroom a few times. And you know, we were talking about internet in 1994, saying this is going to be something big. You know, People are going to buy things online. And this is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. And we got thrown out repeatedly from the boardrooms. And they would say, it's like a you know, la-la land. Who cares? Who knows about this? Then I came upon, I was going to TED at that time in 94, and I met a bunch of people who didn't think I was crazy, who actually believed in what I was saying. And we created a demo. I got like some graphic designer, some technologists. We created a demo to show how you'd be buying tickets online. So if you want to go to a stadium and buy tickets, you would click on the seat, and the seat shows you perspective, so you can see how you would look at the thing. And then you can pick which ticket you want to buy and do it. I could show the demo to my management and say, to make this happen, we need to make this kinds of investment in security in the back end, this kinds of connections we need to make with the banks, and this kinds of graphic designers need to you know, archive every map that is there for stadiums. And they got it. And Intel actually shifted their path to make huge investments in the area of technology. That's not me, I don't mean to say that one demo has changed everything, but it was a huge catalyst in making people understand what I was talking about. So creating stories visually as well as orally can actually move mountains. So we've launched Ink Talks in India with the idea of telling stories, of telling stories by those who are actually making a difference. I can tell you about empowerment, or you can listen to Vicky Roy, who was a rag picker, who's one of the top photographers. I can talk about neonatology, but you can listen to Nitin talking about how he saves children by getting a child who's a few weeks old out of the womb, repair the heart, and put it back into the womb, and sew it so the mother carries it to term. You know, or I can t talk to you about dark matter, or you can listen to Anil Anantaswamy, who's written a book about the largest telescopes that are around the world and what are these scientists searching. The point is, I can create courses, et cetera, et cetera, to teach, or I can just tell stories. So in under 18 minutes, you get the point. So that's what the Ink Talks is about. You know, the talks are anywhere from three to 18 minutes. Actually, Nancy was one of our speakers uh, in October. And you have, you can listen to stories of people who are writers, artists, architects, technologists, archaeologists, philosophers, tell you what it is all about. So I truly believe that we come, especially in India, we come from a tradition of storytelling. Everything I ever learned was from my grandmother's stories and my grandfather's anecdotes, my father's quotes. That's where I learned. Everything I learned in the school was a formula. I just figured out how to top the university by using a formula. But the rest of my learning came from the stories and my failures. So I truly believe that to make innovation a, a part of our DNA, we really need to create a space where stories are told and where failure is celebrated, where people come and tell stories of their failure and of their overcoming them. Thank you.